My extreme IT patience was tested today by a zebra printer. Now to put this in perspective, I've got more than 20 years experience I've taken classes and certifications that I've received on printer language, printer everything. But here's the deal. Settings on the printer were set to direct thermal. Settings on the print preferences, direct thermal. Settings on the print defaults, printing defaults on the driver, direct thermal. Settings on the print job, direct thermal. Nothing was pointing to thermal transfer at this point. Yet you would send a print job from any program and half an inch into a direct thermal print, the printer would pause and say add ribbon meaning that it switched to thermal transfer mode in the middle of a print job. I'm not just gonna tell you about a problem without telling you how to fix it. So let's get the Zebra setup utilities installed on the computer that's connected to the printer. Go to open communication settings after choosing the printer. You're gonna to wanna to copy and pause this video to grab this command. From here, you're gonna copy it, bring it over into this space, paste it in, and then go over to the setting that says send to printer. This will actually send these commands to the printer so that it can override print driver default, printer settings, printing preferences, everything all at once. This is taken directly off the Zebra command manual. All the lines are here if you want to dig into it and find out more. However, if you really want to find out what you can do with CLI on a printer, go ahead and download the ZPL programming guide from Zebra. There is limitless possibilities on controlling the printer, controlling print jobs, and all the functions of the device. So the printer is going to reboot, and with these new settings, it doesn't matter what a user tries to mess up, what document, what program sends, it's going to print with what I told it it has loaded. 